Hello guys, welcome to another SOAP UI tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn more about the REST API. So in last tutorial, we have seen about the GET method. Now let's understand through the deck of cards API what all methods are supported in the particular API. So what I'll do is I'll open the documentation of deck of cards API and let's start reading that because as a tester, you would need a lot of understanding around the documentation. You, so you need to go through the documentation and see what all functions or methods are supported as part of that particular REST API. So you can see that add deck count is um, as a get or post parameter, right? So you can either do a get or post to um, add a deck count and what it will do is it will shuffle the deck count so you can either do a get request or a post request um, to define the number of decks that you want so we have seen the get request so if you do the same thing with the post it will also return uh, the success and it will shuffle the deck so let's do that and you can see the deck id has changed and it has returned the shuffle deck as part of the post method as well now what is the next uh, so the next one is the draw a card so what you can do is once your deck is shuffled you can draw the card from the shuffle deck so depending on the number of count that you provide you can draw those number of cards so let's understand and draw the cards so in order to add another request what you can do is you can just write and go to new rest service uri and paste the uri okay so here you can see we have to provide the deck id but let me just click ok and now you can see the draw request has been or draw get request has been created okay which is a rest request now in the resource you can see its api deck and then you have to provide the deck id from which you want to draw those two particular cards so in any any card game what you do first you do is you shuffle the cards right so you shuffle the deck and then after shuffling you draw the card or you distribute the card right so what we are doing is here the first um, api it's shuffling the card and the next one is uh, drawing the number of cards that you specify in the parameters okay now how will you provide this deck id right so if you are doing a manual testing what you will do is you will first send a get request um, to get the deck id okay so get request and then what you will do is you will copy and you will go back to the uh, draw request and paste the deck id paste the deck id here okay so i've already copied just give me a sec looks like it has not copied the deck id properly let me remove that let me close this request reopen it and i'll copy this deck id again right click copy go back and change this deck id Right, and I'll remove all these extra bits here. Okay, right. So that was the resource, and from this resource, I'm drawing two cards. Okay. Now let me run this get request and see the response. Okay. Let's go over to the JSON, and here you can see that remaining is fifty. And it will give you the deck ID from which it has uh, drawn the two cards that you have mentioned. Okay, and it will give you the cards that have been drawn. So it uh, it is uh, saying suit is um, spades and value is king, and the other one is the hearts, and the code is eight of hearts. Okay, so these two cards have been drawn. Now. If you are a manual tester or you are doing the manual uh, testing of the api you will do this manually and it will be a real tedious process 
So what you can do is in SOAP UI, you can try to automate all this flow. And we have already seen property transfer in the previous tutorials. And you can utilize property transfer to automate all these functionalities in SOAP UI. Now to do that, what you will do is first of all, let's go ahead and create the test suite. So I'll right click on this particular project and I'll go and say new test suite and provide the test suite name. So I'll leave it as default, but you can change it uh, if you want to say uh, end to end testing because we'll be doing some automated testing. And now in this particular end to end test suite, you can start adding the methods that you want to test so you can say new test case and i'll say shuffle deck that's the first operation we want to perform close it and then we'll say or we'll just say rename it and we'll say shuffle and draw cards Okay, so in this particular test case, now what we want to do is we want to call two requests, one for the shuffle and second one for the drawing the card. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll add the step because this is a REST request or a REST project. We'll say REST request and we'll say shuffle deck and what rest method will take we'll take the shuffle right we'll take shuffle request and hit ok and the next one is the rest request draw cards and in draw cards we'll say draw request okay so let me close all these windows just to avoid the confusion okay so now you can see we have shuffle and draw cards deck and we have two steps there shuffle deck and draw cards okay now in shuffle deck if you see now the resource method is shuffle and endpoint is deck of cards api and this is basically containing all the parameters as well right so you deck count and everything is already there now if you want to add the parameters right so if you want to change the parameter here at the bottom you can say deck count you can change the value here or uh, and if you want to have two decks you can provide the value there okay now the second in the draw cards you can also change the count value here say i want to draw four cards all right now what if i try to run this particular test now okay will it pass let's try and run this so i'll open um, shuffle and draw cards deck let's see what happens so it says it's finished and it says it's green so that means it's passed let's see how it passed and why it passed all right so if i go to shuffle deck right if i open this step one double click on it and go to response message you see the deck id is something like jt jt 7 o and if i close this and go to the second step which is draw cards and go to the response message it has drawn the cards as well but we didn't provide any deck id as such right so here the deck id is taken from the previous message and it's not the deck id that we are planning to pass from the shuffle deck so what we are trying to achieve is whatever deck id we get from shuffle deck that is what we are will be passing to the draw cards so from the same shuffle deck we want to draw four cards and that's what we are looking for so in the shuffle deck if you see uh, in the logs you will see in the response message number of cards remaining is 104 so this is basically totally a different request 
and it's not tied up it's not this deck id is not what we are getting from the shuffle deck now how we can do this or how we can automate this whole process is through the property transfers okay so in property transfer what we can do is whatever deck id we are getting as part of this request so if i run this request go to the response and go to the json response whatever deck id we are getting as part of this response we can transfer this deck id to the draw cards so we can transfer this deck id in the request here in this place and once this request runs then the response will actually give the actual cards from the shuffle deck which was shuffled previously okay so let's understand this um, using the property transfer in next tutorial hope you like the video thank you very much for watching